All right, so we have a 1978 Volvo. Doesn't run. Uh, as far as I know, it doesn't move. <laughs> it doesn't have any fluids in it. Doesn't leak. It's been sitting in this garage for a couple months and then sitting before that. How long? A year. A year. To, close to a year. <laughs> it supposedly ran and then died one day. So we have, we're gonna go through it, see what we can do, try and get it running, and hopefully, my goal is to drive it around the neighborhood at least once today for the first time in a year. That's his car, and we're just storing it here. <laughs> we got big plans for this, but for now, we just need to get it running. All right, well, let's, uh, let's move out in the sun and see what Isaac has uh, done to this thing. See if you can get it to fire. <laughs> see if it sees, see if it'll start. <laughs> we'll give a quick rundown of everything I have done to it when we pull it out. Yeah, so let's get out here in the sun. We'll talk about the car a little bit and we'll start digging in. All right, put it in neutral. Start her up. Wow. Go straight, go straight, go straight. I forgot, I was gonna lift the handbrake up as if that does anything. <laughs> <laughs> the handle you have to pull anywhere from like one to six times to get it to open. I, tr I trust your brakes, don't worry. It's, it's in gear. I trust, yes. I, I trust the gears. Okay. As he's right. trucking wheels. Just... <laughs> so the story with the hinges Apparently, and Isaac can help me out with this, is the hood flipped open, completely yes. destroyed the hinges. I was leaving AutoZone and somehow forgot to put the hood pins on. Pull out, all of a sudden just, boom, middle of the road. So we had to pull over into the, couldn't see anything, the windows were up too. I like tried to stick my head out the window, but it was just rolled up. <laughs> the bolt holes are solid, you just need your hinges, I think. Oh, I took the hinges off. They might be gone. So we're missing yeah. <laughs> intake pipe. Intake pipe, but that's fine. We just throw that back on there. Clearly has no battery, but we're gonna be using an old battery from a spare Vigan we had that has been charging on oil for a couple days now. <laughs> That'll start it up. As far as everything else, it looks like it's here. Just needs fluids, and we gotta go through the checklist. So it is on a distributor but supposedly has electronic fuel injection. But are these your injectors? Indeed they are. Wow, oh those God. are so, so simple. I think I'll get a shot of this. So there's six injectors. There's one down here. There's the cold start and then the... This is an early injection system. Very, very, very early, <laughs> yeah. What's it controlled by though? Cause these are just straight lines. There is a box back there that this disconnects to. I can't see, where does the fuel line go? Back here, there's huh. some sort of box. So it must be like some kind of fuel control unit. Yeah, that's where it's all there. And they have individual lines coming off from the back here. We're not gonna be tearing into this today. We're just trying to go through the basics. Spark fuel, I'm assuming it has compression because it ran. Somewhat. Uh, a little bit. <laughs> So we're gonna turn it over by hand because it has been sitting just in case something is Yeah, just to wrong. see if it's seized or, yeah. or to make sure it'll spin. Yeah. And then uh, maybe drop some oil in the cylinders just to kind of lubricate them up a little bit since it probably doesn't have any oil in the cylinders or in the head. Uh, just see if it'll crank first and then we'll just start basic diagnostics. See if it has sparks, see if it has fuel, go from there. Yeah. And uh, see if we can at least get some, some pop pop bangs out of this thing. Do you have brake fluid? Oh. All right, a couple things we've discovered. One, it does turn over. Found the right socket. Can't see anything because of the shadows. But Super smooth, that's all you care about. Well, does it's it in have gear. Compression? It's yeah. in gear, oh, it turning it over. Does it have compression though, does it feel like it has? It feels very loose, <laughs> but we'll see. It, it's, uh, but uh, in neutral, because it has chocks on it. But in neutral. It's... It feels fine, it feels very lubricated. Which brings me to point number two. We pulled the dipstick and this thing's been leaking every fluid known to man. It's got oil. It has some. It's got yeah. oil up to like there-ish. So we're good on oil at least to try and tur turn it over and get it running. We probably shouldn't run it on that oil, but 
we'll, we, we, can, can we can use it to see it. if it'll run. A couple of things we have to fix because we noticed this. This is the ignition coil. We found this wire that's supposed to go onto this blue connector right here that is off. So very likely that could be the reason that it doesn't have spark and won't run. And also we gotta put this back before we try and run that. We can, yeah, let's uh, see if it has spark while it's out. Yeah. Let's so just run that out. It does not, I know it didn't have spark, but with this. Let's just see, Yeah. Let's see what happens. It's been a year since this thing's been touched. So let's just cover all our bases here. Oh, look at that. Brand new intake. My hotter intake. Look how nice the, the battery just kind of floats around. Take that out. Now we got more, more space. Okay. I'm not smelling anything. No smoke. Well, crank it, see if it has spark. Make sure it's not in gear. Ooh. Try again. Let me put this it has in. compression. It definitely does. Sounds good, actually. It sounds healthy. It's not. It's a little <laughs> slow. Okay. Turn it over. I saw spark. Ooh, I saw spark. And he felt it. I felt it, yeah. I saw it though. Okay, is ignition off? If you look around, you'll notice a lot of shit is wrapped with electrical tape because that's I didn't know I don't know shit about electrical work, so something would break, I'm like, just tape it together. <laughs> Poor guy. God, are you kidding me? It's in neutral. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Mission coils fixed-ish. It's attached. It's attached. We're just gonna see if it starts uh, with its own fuel. See what happens. It's got spark, it's got, and that probably doesn't have fuel. Uh, like that. Yeah, once it starts, you shouldn't keep spraying it. Okay, I'm we gotta keep it running. We gotta check fuel. Try again. Yeah. yeah. That's what I'm saying. Like, it's got no fuel. So it definitely has no fuel. All right, well, but we it know that it's got spark. It went for a little bit. <laughs> we heard it, that's progress. Can you, if you fuel. cycle the key, can you hear the pump? Ooh. Negative. Off and on? Nothing. There is a fuse missing too, which I don't believe is, I think I've already messed with these, I don't believe it is the fuel pump, but I could have moved something around when I was trying to test it around. We can jump that fuse, see if it makes a difference. Yeah. Is it under the seat or in the trunk? It's in the trunk. Oh, we need two screws. Well, we got fluid spinning back here. Yeah. That's cool. It got some brake fluid. I think this is just water. It's good now. Water's cool. It's true. Well, this should have power, right? Mm-hmm. Turn the keys on. Well, turn the key on. I got power. Yeah. yeah. It does have voltage. We have power, but no sound from the pump. Um, I can pull it. It's not hard to pull. So you know that is. It's mm -hmm. a. I mean, it's a Frankenstein of a fuel pump setup. We just needed to make fuel pressure. Yeah. And a pump is pretty simple as long as it has power and ground. It might be worth just pulling that screw out and just cleaning it up a little bit. All right, 
attempting to pull this MacGyver Jerry Rig fuel pump out. I told you, I remember this thing being the biggest nightmare. <laughs> it's very oversized. There we go. For this tank. It's getting there. Oh, what the? <laughs> How did you get this in here? <laughs> There's that big, there it is. Explain to me how you got this in there. Yeah, I don't, I genuinely don't know. <laughs> well, it's grounded and it has power. I can actually get it at it from here. But it's covered in fuel, so it's the second you have a spark, you're gonna have a bomb on your hands. Yeah, no, I'm not. We're not doing that We're in the car. We're not testing anything here. <laughs> I'm just looking to see if I notice anything obvious. Nice! <laughs> you may notice, this is a fuel pump. Without a sock? Sock's in there still. <laughs> oh, I know, I saw it fall. Oh. <laughs> Careful, you're dripping. Look at how tight that was. Yeah. Okay, the the hole is essentially that big. The width of that hole is, oh. is that that wide. So that's my uncle. Well, now we gotta clean it down, see what's wrong with it. So I'll, I'll check all the grounds first, because we don't need to clean it off for that at least. Yep, the wiring's all good. So it's a bad pump. Bad pump. This is some oh, interesting yeah. work you've got it here. It took us so long to freaking... So I think, it, I think that's, your level probably wasn't working because it's it, catching on the line and the sock and everything and the pump. Yeah, probably was like getting caught on this somehow. Yeah. And then uh, just go buy like a $30 fuel pump from AutoZone. They might have it. These are, they have uh, this style pump pretty commonly at auto parts stores. Yeah. So we'll go pick up a pump, fish for the sock, re uh, plumb it all, put it back in the car, see if we can make it go vroom. Yeah, because we got power here. Mm -hmm. And it's all connected. Have so. we, is there, uh, just if we can just get power to the pump to see if it we can try right now. turns on, that we way have to we clean don't. It out. We'll clean off all the stuff on the outside. Yeah. I, gotta have more faith. I will risk the life altering burn injuries for this car. I'm telling you it's not worth it. Don't, oh, take it off first. Oh. <laughs> uh, when I tell you, press that down onto the mic. It, it runs. It does, it's just really quiet. When you cycled the key. Oh, put this That's back true. then. Yeah. If they have for this, the one for this car, is the, yeah. is the tank for, uh, from this car? The tank is from this okay. car. Okay, so then we'll just try and see if they have the stock pump. Yeah, well, I'm it's, lit it's for like an 04 to 07 Mercury. Yeah, yeah. Probably, for, it, probably for a V8, yeah. Because this is early fueling. But it ran on that on that pump. Yeah, but we don't know how- It, it would at least sputter if it was too high pressure. Yeah. We'd well, have some kind of combustion. Or maybe it's not high pressure enough. Fuel injection requires high pressure, but this is it's, early system fuel pressure. It's I say we- high enough pressure. I remember reading the pressure. Okay. I say we either run that one or get a new one and just see if we get pressure at the line. We're gonna crack the fuel rail, see if we have pressure up there. 